Bring you this story now. Angry and frustrated parents have gone to the Basic Education's Morningside District office to demand placement for their children. Now, almost 700 kids in Gauteng could not experience their first day of class today due to a backlog in the school placement process. Our reporter, Mangobam Kunu, is covering that story and joins us now for an update. No doubt a very frustrating time uh, for parents, Mangoba. Has there been any uh, thing that's come out of the district office in terms of a way forward will these children find some placement before the end of the week what are you hearing This particular stage uh, of what we are hearing uh, from parents is that uh, there has been no officials that have come to address them with regards to some of their frustrations. Of course, many of them are here. They arrived many hours ago just to try and uh, uh, sort out the issue of uh, placements for their children. We've spoken to some parents who say that they were sent by the schools to the uh, education department's office in Johannesburg to go and query with the department simply because they're saying that there are no spaces available and that uh, some of those applications were not processed by the schools. So many of the parents saying that this morning they went to the Department of, of Education but only to be uh, told to come here at this district office here in the north of Johannesburg where uh, essentially we're seeing quite a number of parents here gathering this afternoon. I'm just going to step out of shot so that you can see uh, what we're talking about. So it's a, a long queue of parents uh, that are here. They're frustrated. These are parents that have grade ones and grade eights uh, uh, pupils that are supposed to be at school today but many of them saying that they couldn't get any places and uh, they're saying that uh, they want to ensure that their children are placed in their schools and that they do uh, continue to go with uh, uh, education this year. But I want to speak to this lady here uh, just to hear her fr frustrations. Siswami, you were here earlier on and just telling me how frustrated you are as a mother and how angry you are that uh, your child is still not being placed at this particular point. You know what, Puti? I'm very angry. Because I'm not going to say in five o'clock, then this is town, and this is queen, is a town, and this is almost four hours, like you. So, because I'm figure inside, but to me, but I'm not going to deny your own internet. Then they apply last year, ne? I'm going to go to my dear errand case, and I errand case, it documents, I guess, fire everything, yeah, okay, fire. In the besotty, let fire back to his sort of e photos of who so then walk. Nance in the Akaban applied last year. We have one good Nance in the Akaban applied last year. So this year, but it's called a sequel this year. Then a town in Johannesburg, a department, department of education in Johannesburg. But this is up at a Santin. But man is a clay up a Cosmo, a Cosmo could be up. But a bonnet in education land, less a town. But upper man is a morning site. A morning site in only Africa. But even the South Gate, yeah, one and the Umdavan Bawi and the Yandi Nate and Cosmo, or Cosmo and Octai Kako up, going to district, or Cosmo and the Savans up, because Savans up, and later on, yes, 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 Abandon a phone and ask all the way. Tina starts nuka and in a good department, I can tell and go and if you suka a town in a good department of education, a town. Paya go to a man is a up a cost a permanent site. Up a man inside in the Africa. It catches Valango twelve. Tai value it catching or twelve. And as if I'll come and wait for a column of eight can go for a half past four. Put an anagram of a long twelve. See and get so up a catching go. Not to go education put. You want to have information, so education, a town, pay and pay and pay. And the car, even if you want to go to the land, you can't even go to the land. You can't even go to the land. You can't go to the land. Thank you very much. Well, well, the lady explaining that uh, she has uh, been, uh, you know, sent by the Department of Education in Joburg. The office is there to come here at this particular district office. She says she arrived in the morning at five o'clock in the morning. But basically, she's saying she's been sent from pillar to post with regards to application for a child, and she's saying that she's really frustrated and uh, she really has, uh, you know, lost faith in, faith in this online system. But let me get another view from another uh, parent. Siswami, so, how are you feeling, uh, Galinda? But what is the issue with you? Okay, but me na inkenga and nayo e one. Is zolo utata wak umtana uzilela up a morning side. What wa e magabuya back to Alexander because is colo, a gas gustola epigilang and tinamis apple pegilang. 
So must apply, must accept. The apply in this is. The apply go niya go pelil. Or accept them. Mama, mama, go full of application. So take by to accept or accept her wrong or accept her East Bank. East Bank is is Zoom. So I got to make a bamba pullush. It's called as a set pullush and stand because I want to make a bamba funda bi. But funda, um, sorry, but funda what they give us a bank. I want to make a bamba. So now I'm trying to look and find out how. In the waga online, he has a super. Yes, so what is our government? My husband and Gentaba online. As is I fool in the baga online. Still, government, I yak. Thank you very much. Okay, that's one also of the frustrated parents. But I just see uh, Steve Mabona here from the Houting Education Department. He's just come here. Uh, uh, Steve Mabona, if I can just ask you for your time. A uh, number of parents here are quite frustrated and angry at the fact that they're saying that uh, the online system is failing them and that uh, their children have not been placed. What are you doing as a department? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I think in the office that we are at here, uh, most of the people that are here, they are here for the first time. As you see, it's many of them. Um, they need to be attended to. Uh, but then probably because of the, they, they could not attend, they can't attend everyone. Surely they must devise a strategy to say if there's such a, a, a number of people inside, and they must, they can't keep people here, meanwhile they know that at some point they must knock off. So probably for them closing a gate, it's to manage the numbers because there's many people. Two, there's the Alex um, area, it's full. I mean, the schools in Alex are, are full. So we have um, uh, schools in the, the uh, Sandown, they still have space in Sandown, the Sangringham, there's Waverly Girls, there's space there. But um, we said the officials need to make sure that uh, this the placement is done on where there is space because where there's no space uh, you can't you can't place and secondly we have now uh, people that are coming from other 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 provinces who are coming here for the first time who need to apply for the first time and uh, that's what we've been saying to say we're going to receive a kind of sizable number of people that are going to arrive today because remember we have opened the system today for late registration so for those that their cases were not resolved last year we know that some of them that are here is the issue of documentation some could not up upload the documents all all required documents that are, are necessary the document that is a problem mostly it will be your proof of residence because remember you need to have the proof of residence and uh, they will be in a position to, to allocate the school as per how the, the feeder zone will then be allowing. So those are the, 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 the challenges that we are facing. But um, they're going to be attended to. Unfortunately, they can't attend everyone at the go. I mean, the officials at some point, they must knock off. Uh, we, we, can't, we can't trample on their labor uh, uh, rights but as well. In terms, uh, Steve, of uh, fixing this problem, I mean, what commitment are you making to these parents as a Department of Education, the basic education here in Gauteng, in terms of dealing with some of these issues? Because some of these parents are saying that their children are being sent to schools that are very far, that are 30 kilometers away from where they stay. No, look, because there are no schools. I mean, it's full. Like, for instance, I'm telling you that in Alexander, the schools are full there. So what must we do as the department? It's, it's a challenge that we are facing. And you, it, in the Alex, you can't, you can't expand, you can't do anything. There's no land to can, to can do anything in that area. So it's a challenge that we are facing, and we, we, we concede that it's, it's, a, it's a serious challenge. Most especially I'm talking about Alex. But then we are saying the neighboring schools, we need to devise a means of accommodating. That's why we are saying Sangringham, there's still space. Sundown, uh, just by Christian, there's space there. Uh, Waverly Kells, we still have space there. So we need to uh, make sure that those that uh, are willing to go to those schools, then they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are accommodated at those schools. But the issue here, Mangova, is capacity. The capacity is a, is a huge uh, uh, problem for us. And but what now, are you as a department doing about the issue of capacity? Because surely you can add mobile classes where uh, you know, there's issues of capacity. No, but we have done that. In all in other areas, like as we said, we have availed over 183 um, mobile units, sending them in different areas where we are pressured. But I'm saying to you, we, and then also transferring money to schools that can expand, that can accommodate us with more classes. But uh, in Alex, you don't have space to, to do that. I mean, if you can go there, you will see. Most of our schools are, are, are full. So 
We will try to accommodate them in the neighboring schools where we need to provide more funds for them to expand and build more classes. We will, we will then transfer those funds because we've put aside 240 million rand aside. Just finally, Stephen, when are you going to uh, the issue of placements? When is that going to be resolved here in the province? How much time are you giving this particular process? Because I'm speaking last year, we did see you going as far as March for some of the uh, children to be placed in schools. What is the commitment this time? When are you hoping to have all of these placements solved? No, for the for the late registration, we didn't have a date because we were there's a dependency on the number of people that will be coming. Normally, we'll estimate around 10,000 people who will come now and say they need school. So we felt that let's monitor the first three days and see how it goes and look at the numbers that are in the system. And then you'll determine on when you're going to close. Because as soon as a school is full, it will not be accessible to the next person. But can you promise you that uh, these children will be placed this month or is it going to be next month? What, what commitment are you making? No, by the latest, by end of January, everyone will be in the classroom. Unlike last year. Last year we had a, a, a huge number than this one. So uh, end of uh, Jan, everyone will be in the classroom. And uh, the parents need to be uh, patient a bit. Uh, don't hold our people hostage. Don't do all these things that are do, uh, people are doing in other areas. Because we are also human beings. We must be respected as officials, as employees. Uh, uh, Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Oh, well, that's Steve Mabona from the Department of Basic Education oh, yeah. here in Gauteng. Just clarifying some of those issues. Of course, the parents are still here. They're still saying that uh, they want answers as to why uh, this particular process is taking so long. But it's back to you for now. Very frustrating time indeed for those parents, Mangobam um, Kunu, and of course Steve Mamona highlighting various issues there. In fact, one of the big ones saying there's capacity, and in areas like in Alex, all the schools are full, and there's actually just no space to put the mobile classrooms that have been deployed across the province, 183 of them, if I'm not mistaken, with, 100, with 240 million rand being allocated to build new uh, classrooms across the province.